G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This video is about the Snugpack Jungle Blanket. Bought a cheat sheet along with me. They say it's lightweight, uh, it's about 700 grams that is, so it's not too bad. It's windproof and water repellent, both of them I can agree with. It says antibacterial, it discourages the growth of bacteria which also results in a reduction of odours. It's got the travel soft insulated for warmth, uh, retaining thermal characteristics after unpacking. Uh, supplied with a compression sack. It's available in Coyote Tan and Hody Green. And again, they say it's waterproof, uh, water repellent and durable. And the actual weight actually includes everything. That's the blanket and the um, compression sack. So let's get it out of the pack. I've got it in the coyote and that's how small it is. 700 grams, it doesn't really feel anything on its own. Pressing it down, Let's see how much smaller we can take it. There you go, pack sounds about half its length. So what's that? That's about say five and a half, six uh, six and a half inches at the widest point here. And again about what do they say here? What size they got? Yeah they say when it's packed it's fifteen centimetres in length. That's compressed down, so that's gotta be. Lost it again. Yeah. It's about what, right, 15 centimetres, about the same going across that way too. So that probably means we can take it down even more. If we, yep, it'll still keep going down, smaller. So that's not going to take up much room in your pack. And the actual compression sack itself isn't bulging out like you get with some of them, the thinner nylon ones. The more pressure you put on, the wider they come this way. But that's kept its original so that's a conference, so that's good. I've never tried that yet, so I've just thrown it back in here and put it in my pack, and it's not really taking up much room when it's not compressed. So I've got some good quality buckles on here. The, the webbing is so that's about 19 20 mil, but more than capable of cinching this down, it feels really strong. Stitching, not 100% because after cinching it down we can see where the stitching's pulled here. So I don't think I'd uh, keep it compressed all the way down or do that too often. I think that will eventually go. So there it is back there. So yeah, it's, it goes down, what is it? The blanket size. Ah, I couldn't find that. 76 inches by 64 inches. So that's 193 centimetres by 162 centimetres. Yes, I like it. So let's get it open and show you. Now, I've been using this now for, let's say, probably close to 10 months now, maybe a bit more. And I watched everyone else's reviews of it and they were saying they got down to equivalent to about the 10 degrees centigrade and they felt warm so I'll let you know what I think to that shortly because I've used this in my hammock I used it in the Valhalla BV bag when I was doing a three day survival course with Bob Cooper I used it in the back of the car tucked inside the bivy bag to give a little bit more warmth to me in the car. There's the pack. 
and I've used it at home under the air conditioning blown cold so let's check the tag it what's the tag say anything different this says the snug pack jungle blanket in coyote uh, insulated with travel soft fabric 100% polyester inner fabric 100% polyester filling 100% polyester so it's polyester all right washing instructions what can we get here uh, da, 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 da. wash maximum of 30 and then they say don't tumble dry or anything like that so you just hang it up or throw it over the line to dry off now I did look over this a few times when I first got it and after using it the stitching is not a tight stitching but every single stitch that I've looked at has been an, a nice stitch uh, if I don't see it on the camera it does pull by about a millimeter open but it's not meant to be pulled that way but I always check and all the way around every time I've checked it's been really good the outside which I believe is the Let's have a look, we get it right, I think it's the shiny, is it, or is it the... Yep, the outside's the shiny side. And you've got a diamond ripstop fabric. So, with it being a ripstop, it, it is good, tough and strong. And if it was to get a hole, it'd be very slow, if at all, for spreading. So you'll be able to continue using this, throw a patch on it when you get home, and all will be good. Uh, it's been used around the fire I'm sitting on in camp talking to people without a fire so over so, yeah it's not much sure you can show standing up one thing I was able to do if you're a bigger person you might not get away with it but on my sleep mat I just doubled it over Oh, wind's blowing the opposite way and I use it as an open-sided sleeping bag so I was able to kick my leg out or my arm out or kick the blanket off me or pull it back on throughout the night so it is just wide enough to be able to do that and like I said if you're a bigger person you probably only get about three you get away with a small amount underneath you to just lay on and the rest do it over now, in the hammock, it worked really well. I did a couple of times, instead of having it square, I took it diagonal. So what I did with the, my feet is I folded the corner over and took my feet in the corner and I pulled it around me. So it uh, turned it into a box, fair enough it's not a completely sealed box, but with the under blanket on my hammock, the underneath didn't need it just the end needed to be closed off and the blanket on top of me there's plenty to wrap around me or took down the side and like I said before using it like an open-sided sleeping bag I was able to kick off kick my legs out my arms out there's plenty of it to go around me uh, there was extra as well if where needed so that really worked really really well like I said in the bivvy even with a bit of condensation, with it being water repellent, I had no trouble with it, no water soaked into it. So I took it out, gave it a shake, threw it over the back seat of the car, once I lifted them back up, and before I even got home, that was dry. So, yep. So overall, temperature, like I said, everybody says they got down to about the 10 degrees centigrade. That's about right. I went out and it got down to the 10 degrees centigrade, like everyone's saying. And I didn't feel cold, but I didn't feel warm. There was an, it was a holding me at about body temperature, so I was comfortable, very comfortable actually, to be honest. Uh, yeah. If if you're a warm sleeper, you might be able to take this even lower. I, 
I, I started to feel the cold. The older I get, the more I feel the cold. So to get that down to 10 and be comfortable, that was good. Now, do you have to roll it up to get it back in the pack? Now, let's show you. I hate having things that you have to fold and fold and roll and get to go in the pack that way. But this will go in. Pull the draw cord out of the way. Now, I wish I'd made the pack or this stuff sack a little bit wider and about half an inch longer because when you get down to the last bit it's just a little bit awkward so I'm at that bit now so let's gather it all up try and keep it in the shop There is a small flap, we'll hold it over, sink the cords up. So if you're wondering if it does stuff, there's your answer, it does go in early hours in the morning. It is a bit of a pain because of uh, the size of the compression sack. kangaroo uh, and like I said that's the only time it's really a problem I just saw how quick I got it packed away then there was no real issue but let's see if I can get the camera to see the kangaroo but he's on the other side of the, the water hopping off up through the bush I can hear him just can't see him now No, he's actually in the water by the sounds of it. Yeah, he doesn't like me being here. I can hear him grunting. Oh, that's nice. It's a wild boar. Bugger. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell. Yep, it's going off up there. Oh, he's got, oh no, it's a she. He's got a couple of little warlets, piglets, whatever you want to call them, following behind. Oh, there's a third one. Ah. Yeah, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, click on the like bell, and when you're doing the notification bell, don't forget to click all, because then you'll be notified of all future videos going up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. <coughs> down in the description box below the video I'm going to start putting links to where you can buy these from and get them from survival supplies is where I got mine from here in Australia they've got a good range of gear there got a mozzie bike by the feels it got a great range of gear there so go and have a look so until next time get out there have some fun and take care <laughs>